What did we talk about in terms of Dr. King today? It's an open forum in African American history at Burnsville High School. We visited these students to get their perspectives of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. 50 years after his assassination. Do you think some of the problems that uh, Martin Luther King Jr. talked about in his time are still relevant today, 50 years later? Definitely, yes. The students were born long after Dr. King's time, yet he's still a prominent figure within several of their families. You said something interesting about that he wanted equality for not just one race, but for everyone. Not only for black people, but for everybody. Jasmine Buckner is part of Burnsville High School's newly formed Black Student Union. My father was alive during the segregation. Whenever he hears a, a speech about him, it brings him to tears because he lived that. The students said they believe civil rights and race relations have improved since Dr. King's time, but that it's up to them to continue his message for true equality for future generations. I am black and I am a Muslim, so um, I've um, experienced ex um, discrimination from both sides. I feel like Martin Luther King Jr.'s his message of love and acceptance really um, helps in those certain um, circumstances. Who will be the next Dr. King? Hopefully one of us. Those students will actually receive college credit for that course. I asked, what's one way the younger generation can work towards equality? One of them told me using social media as a way to connect rather than divide. I think a lot of them are already doing that, Kate. Probably, yes. All mm -hmm. right. Thank you.